What's up guys welcome to our channel Tej Advice. In this video we will talk about keyboard not working Windows 10. We gonna discuss about 9 valuable methods by which you can fix your keyboard problem. We read lot of post and the tech forum and out of those we got this 9 method to solve keyboard problem. So stay tuned and watch the complete video. Before going further, if you are new to this channel, then click on subscribe button and select all to the bell notification and give a thumbs up if you like this video and leave your feedback in the comment section and do not forget to share this video with your friends. First of all, you need to understand why your keyboard not working in Windows 10. It can be a USB problem like you haven't connected the USB properly or there is some USB not working on your desktop. Either there could be any kind of Windows problem or either your keyboard is damaged or any kind of key or particular key is not working on your keyboard. So you have to make sure why you're getting this problem. And I want you to watch the complete video first and afterwards opt for any of the method given in this video. So watch the complete video first and after that as per the problem apply the method. Method 1. Try other ports. As you have connected your keyboard with any of the port right now and due to that it's not working correctly, I want you to test the other ports as well. There could be a problem on your desktop, any of your USB port is stopped working or some kind of wire issue, any kind of hardware issue in your PC, it could happen. So it's important for you to check that that USB port is working perfectly fine or not. So test the other USB port as well. Method 2 use it on other PC. I want you to connect your keyboard, your external keyboard with any other PC you have in your home or either you can carry your keyboard and ask your friend to check that keyboard by connecting your keyboard to his or her PC to make sure that your keyboard is working or either there is any kind of internal damage or any of the key stop working and the rest of the key working. All the method after this are kind of advanced method, advanced troubleshooting methods. To perform all the method after this, we want on-screen keyboard. To open on-screen keyboard, click on Windows icon, scroll it down, you will find this Windows Easy of Access. In here you can see on-screen keyboard. First you have to click on Windows icon, then here you'll see the list, scroll it down, you'll find Window Easy of Access and click on on-screen keyboard. Once you'll have on a screen keyboard you can type any of the command which we are gonna tell you any of the shortcut command and along with that you can open the run bar as well so we need this on a screen keyboard as we are only using the mouse right now so we need on a screen keyboard method 3 press windows and space key it has been updated on tech forums by pressing windows key and the space lot of user got their problem solved you have to do this 10 to 15 time by doing it, if this help, it's good, otherwise opt for the other methods. Method 4. Check filter key. You have to check the filter key. Sometime when the filter key remain on, we get this problem, our keyboard is stop working. So you have to turn off the filter key. You have to check the filter key first. Click on the windows icon, click on the setting. Here search for easy of access. Here on the left side, scroll it down, you will see keyboard. Now on the right side here, scroll it down. As you can see, use filter key. As it's showing me, it's off. That's why my keyboard working perfectly fine. So what you have to do, turn it on and close it and restart your PC and then turn it off. Along with that, you have to do it from control panel as well. So press the windows icon and R, type control and you'll get the screen like this of the control panel. Click on easy access. Here you'll see change how your keyboard works. Click on it and here you can see turn on filter key. Both of them perform as on the same basis. When I turn that option on, this showing me it's on. So just need to restart, leave it as it is, restart your PC and after restart, come back to the setting, click on ease of access, search for keyboard on the left side, turn it off and the same thing happen in the control as well. As you can see, it's unchecked. As there are the updates that both of them work differently, 
So that's why I'm showing this in this video that both of them works the same. You can perform any of the option. Method 5. Uncheck Power Safe. Here you need to do a right click on the windows icon. Click on device manager. You'll see this universal serial bus controllers. Click on this option on this arrow or either do a double click on this. You might see USB root hub here or either you'll get generic USB hub. So do a double click on this. You will see power management. Click on it and uncheck this option and click OK and restart your PC. Method 6. Find and fix keyboard problems. Here click on windows icon. Click on setting. Type here find and fix keyboard problems. Click on it. Click next. It is start troubleshooting. As you can see troubleshooting has completed. No changes or updates were necessary. You might see different window. So you just need to troubleshoot. Method 7. Turn off fast startup. To turn off fast startup press the windows icon and R. Type control in the run. Click OK. Here click on hardware and sound. Click on power option. Click on choose what the power button do. Click on change setting that are currently unavailable and you'll see the option here. So uncheck that and save the setting and restart your PC. Sometimes fast startup cause the problem for uh, any external peripheral to work properly. So it's important for you to stop the fast startup. Method 8. Check driver. Here you need to go in device manager. Do a right click on windows icon. Click on device manager. Click on keyboard. You can do a double click or do a single click on this arrow. Here you'll see the driver you have on your PC. Do a right click. First uninstall the driver and click on this option. Scan for hardware changes and restart your PC. If it does not work then do a right click and update driver. Click here. You can select this option. Search automatically for update driver software or either you can browse my computer for driver software. Once you'll select this option, browse my computer for driver software, you'll get this option. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select this option, standard PS2 keyboard, click next and it's done. And as you can see, you'll get this screen come up. Do you want to restart your computer? You can restart your computer to make the effects take place. Method 9. Change value from registry editor. Open the on screen keyboard, press the windows icon and R, you'll get run window. Type here R E G E D I T. Rigid it. Click yes. Here click on H key local machine. Double click. Click on system. Current control set. Double click on this one. Click on services and search for I8042PRT. Once you'll find this I8042PRT, here click on this start, do a double click and change the value to 1 and OK and restart your computer. As we have explained all the 9 methods to you how you can fix keyboard not working in Windows 10. If you have any question do let us know in the comment section we will surely answer your question and do not forget to like share and comment. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.